October 8th, is your plant still healthy? We're gonna take a look at the Bubba Patch today and talk about plant health, the end of the season, and what can you do if you're still struggling, you can't get past that 1,000 pound pumpkin mark, that 1,200 pound mark, what might, what may be the reason, it may be your, the reason here, watch this video, and uh, we're gonna try to help you find an answer. October 10th, and here's my plant. All right, looking good, even though you see these spots, powdery mildew, this is a healthy plant for October 7th. We still have vines out here trying to grow onto the lawn. They are growing onto the lawn. This is one healthy, vibrant plant. So I have not tested my soil for disease, but I'm guessing that it's pretty healthy. I don't need to test it. There's some powdery mildew. Um, but it is October 8th, all right, October 8th. Here we go. We've even did, cut the stump off a month ago. We still have a healthy plant, and a month ago I cut the stump. And now I'm tracking the great white, tracking the great white roots, because it tells the whole story of what I did here. We had a dry spring, so there was no rain to pull the roots out on the lawn. They all just went forward. The roots went forward as I watered it forward. All right, but these roots will go. If you have a rainy spring, these half these roots will be out on the lawn. Are you gonna fertilize the lawn? Are you gonna amend the lawn? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. I recommend you probably do. You can't amend it, but you can water the fertility in. So there we go, these roots are amazing. We'll give you a closer look at them here. Here's Squidward's roots. And they go out and they get little, this one right here, see it's got a little shorter one stemming off it, shooting in. They're tapped in. It's like tap roots off the big root every so often. I just broke that one off. And they shoot out. You can see if there's one now. These are all what feeds your plant. And believe it or not, when you cut that stump off, you're only losing 25% of the plant because all these rooted leaves, all these leaves are rooted in and look at those roots that's what's feeding that pumpkin every leaf feeds the pumpkin say hi pepper say hi they sick the dogs on me anyways beautiful plant if your plant doesn't look this good i notice in some gardens i've seen by labor day the leaves are trash they don't look this good by labor day they're all fried up and that may be the best looking thing you got not these green vibrant leaves they're still trying to produce this is a healthy garden this is a healthy soil i'm looking forward to next year now that we balanced out a few things i'm just hoping for better weather the weather this year in michigan was horrible the bird man had a 2094 congrats to him with better weather the bird man would have had a 23 2400 pounder the weather probably cost him 300 pounds on that pumpkin of that i'm sure so anyways if you think you got soil disease you can't get past a 1200 1500 pound mark you're stuck there send your soil off to western labs for a hundred around a hundred dollars they will do a disease test and tell you where you stand you may want to relocate relocate your garden to a hill this is on a hill and i love that idea when i'm on low ground i always seem to find a lot of disease in the ground and low ground being up on this hill if you have a choice low ground or high ground pick the high ground every time you'll have much healthier soil i'm sure there's exceptions to that rule if there is please share them if you know of exceptions to that rule please share them on here if you're a farmer and you know better than i i'm open to hear comments and suggestions all right just a short little video short here plant health roots how are you growing? How are things going? Hey, if they ask you, who do you go to for giant pumpkins? It's Bubba. I'm all about giant pumpkins. So please join us. We want to help you grow your first giant pumpkin. We want to help you do that. Join the channel, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and we can talk you through it. 
You can ask your comments below of each video, ask your questions about growing, and I will answer your comments. You'll get a quicker response than emailing me. If you have any questions or look at wanting seeds shipped overseas, email me at mark at worldwidegiantgrowers.com and give me a day or two to get back to you, and we will get you shipped. If the law permits, we'll get seeds shipped over to your company, country, wherever you live, allowable by law. All right.